All right, so in order to start a new project in Premiere Pro, you obviously need to open Premiere Pro first. So I have it pinned to the taskbar down here. I'm just gonna click on it and it's gonna open it up. If you don't see it down there, if you haven't pinned it, then you can go over here to your Windows thing and click on it and you might see it over here. Or you can try and type it in the search here and find it right there. I would just suggest right clicking and pinning it to your taskbar. So it'll be here. So you can just click on it and open it up in the future. When Premiere finally opens up, you're gonna see this window right here, but I'm not gonna go over everything on here. I'm gonna concentrate on home and really down here is recent. So that's where your recent projects would be listed. So I have a few that are on the go here. If you wanna open those ones up, you obviously just click on it. And if you don't see your project that you wanna open here, just go over to open project and find it in whatever folder it's in, like here, pitch shifter, double click on it, and it'll open that project. But really the reason why you're watching this video is because you wanna start a new project. So just click on new project. And while it might seem like there's a whole bunch of things to go over here when you're starting a new project, I'm just gonna focus on the ones that really matter. So up top we have name, and I'm just gonna name this test project. And then next is location. So this is where it's gonna be saved. So I'm gonna go to browse. And then you're obviously gonna find the folder of the project that you're working on. So I'm gonna go to desktop, and I'm just gonna pretend that I'm working on this masking in Premiere project. So I'm gonna double click on that to go into that folder. And then I like to just make a new folder and call it edits. So this is where my Premiere files are gonna go. So I'm gonna double click on that and I'm gonna save it in here. So I'm gonna select this folder and you can see that it goes from users, Delinsky, desktop, masking in Premiere, and then it's in that edits folder. And then underneath here, in general, video rendering and playback, just make sure your renderer is, if you have one that says GPU accelerated, so CUDA or Metal or something, pick that one. Try not to pick the Mercury Playback Engine software only. This is gonna be much slower and much worse. Next to general up here is scratch disks, and I have them set as same as project. That's probably the default, and that just means that any video that's captured, audio, my previews for audio and video, my auto saves, everything is gonna be saved in the exact same folder, my edits folder, so that just makes it all clean and in the same spot. I'm not gonna worry about ingest settings, so I'm gonna go back to general, and these ones down here, you can change this from time code to something else. This is just just leave it at time code. And audio here, same thing. You can change from audio samples to milliseconds. This is really if you are doing an audio intensive edit, but most of the time just keep it at audio samples. And then last but least is capture down here. This is really an outdated option down here. That's when you used to have to connect your camera to the computer and then capture your footage right from the camera. So you don't have to really do that anymore if you're using an SD card, whatever. So just ignore that one, it doesn't really matter. And we can just click okay. And that's it, that's how you start a new project in Adobe Premiere Pro. But if you wanna learn more about Premiere Pro, like how to import your footage, how to set up and adjust your sequence settings, how to customize your editing workspace, and or how to actually start editing, make sure to check out the other videos in my Getting Started with Premiere Pro video series. All links are in the description below. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, and I'll catch you next time.